Hi, everyone. So thank you for joining in our last episode of the Spice Up series. And today we'll be focusing on spicing up your fasting life. 10 ways in spicing up your fasting life. So if you are listening to my podcast, Women of Mighty Valor podcast, thank you for you know tuning in. Or if you're watching me on YouTube right now, um, thank you for joining. Really appreciate you. So in today's episode, um, I'll be focusing on 10 ways that you can spice up your fasting life. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So just before we get into the 10 tips, um, I always try to, you know, get a scripture in regards to what I'm talking about. So we'll be going to Matthew 17 verse 21 and reading from the easy read version. And it says, but that kind of spirit comes out only with prayer and fasting. So in this scripture, it was in regards to um, the disciples. They were they weren't able to cast out um, a demon out of a person, and so Jesus said, "This is this can only be done with prayer and fasting." And that is why that's when I realized prayer and fasting is so important it's it should be an essential part of every believer's life um if you're struggling for example if you have a sin struggle you're struggling with something in your life for example sexual immorality um going on a fast is the best way for you to break free from that sin or whatever sin that you're struggling with going on a fast regular fast um i used you know i fast once a week um, so fasting once a week can help maintain um, your spiritual life as well. So yeah, if you want a breakthrough from your your sin struggles in your life that you're having, then going on a fast definitely will help. Jesus said it, it can only be done with prayer and fasting, that kind of spirit. So whatever kind of spirit that you're sh that that is that is in you and it's a struggle, sin struggle, then it can you, you can break free from it with prayer and fasting. So that's that. Um, all right, so let's jump into the first tip. So tip number one in spicing up your fasting life is by acknowledging um, that a fast is a form of worship unto God and learning what is God's acceptable fast. So I, you know, last year with the retreat, um, the Women of Mighty Valor uh, ministry, we focused on fasting. And I that's how I found out that there is a way God wants us to fast. So that is found in Isaiah 58. So when you have time, grab your Bible and read Isaiah 58. It talks about God's acceptable fasting so you need to find out what you know that remember that fasting is a form of worship just like you know singing praise and and um and prayer as well everything that we do you know in terms of prayer fasting worship it's a form of worship unto god um so yeah so learning what what is acceptable what is god's acceptable fast um so this is, you know, this can be found in the Bible. First, you need to learn the type of fast that is acceptable unto God before you actually do the fast, if that makes sense. And what is a fast, right? A fast is something, it can either be without, something that you deprive yourself from in order to focus on God in that season. So yeah, that's some, that's some of what fast is. So some people, you know, tend to say, oh, it's it can relate to food. Some people is with social media. You know, it's just there's different type, you know, different types of fasting out there. Which goes to the second point um, is do your research. You know, do your research on the types of fasting out there and choose which one is suitable or which one you can you know you think you can you can do um by yourself so for example there is a dry fast where you have no water no food you know just what jesus did 
just dry fast, hence the word dry. There's also water fast, where it's just water that you drink. And um, there's the Daniel fast, which we're currently on, almost finish um, this week. Excited, but it's been such a blessing, the Daniel fast. So that's another fast as well. Um, and there's also the social media fast as well. So there's just different fasts that you can have. You know, even if if you realize, for example, you're 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 addicted or you're too attached to something, you can fast from it. That's what I mean. So for example, if you're struggling or you're too addicted to Netflix, you can fast from Netflix. So it doesn't necessarily have to be social media per se, but whatever you feel like is distracting you from God, you can fast from it. So yeah, um, so do your research on the different types of fast and then you choose the fast that is suitable unto you, right? So, you know, just a disclaimer, if it is dry fast, for example, or water fast or Daniel fast, please advise, you know, seek medical advice from your doctor just before you do any type of fast, especially those three fasts that I mentioned, make sure you seek uh, medical, um, you know, advice from your doctor, um, just to, just to put that out there. All right. Um, so yeah, the third point I would say in spicing up your fasting life is by setting a fasting schedule and location. Yeah. Like the same way that you will set an appointment that you're going to go this place is the same in regards to your spiritual life. So you need to set a fasting schedule, pick the day that you want to fast within that week and set where you want to be fasting. So that could be your living room, that could be a backyard or in nature, wherever you want to um, spend time with God, set that location. So, you know, even setting, so that goes to the next point in spicing up your um, fasting life is by setting a structure in which you plan to do the fast because a lot of times when you're fasting not not everybody knows what fasting is or how they should go about fasting so you setting a structure in how you're gonna carry out your fast will help you um get you know be able to achieve the fast successfully so for example you can start with prayer in your fasting. So as you're fasting, you, you pray to God that, God, you know, you tell God that, look, I'm fasting for this. Um, and you, you know, confess your sins to him and ask him for wisdom and knowledge as you read his word. So you can start with prayer. Then you can do Bible reading. Um, then you can do praise and worship. And yeah, that's just some of the structure that you can include in your own fasting. So making sure that you have a structure in how you're going to be doing a fast, having a set location, having a set schedule will definitely help. That moves to the next point. In spicing up your fasting life is by reading and writing down scriptures on fasting specifically and reminding yourself the reason why you as a believer need to fast. So that can be found in Matthew 6, verse 17 to 18. And um, I'm just going to get my tablet and we'll read that one moment. I'm going to get that. I'll just read it because not everyone um, has a Bible um, in hand right now. You're probably listening to the podcast. So yeah, let me just read it for you. So it's Matthew 6, verse 17 to 18. And it says, but when you fast, so there's a certain way that you fast, right? So, but when you fast, comb your hair, reading from the NLT version. But when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face. Then no one will notice that you are fasting except your father who knows what you do in private and your father who sees everything will reward you so when you go on a fast you don't do it for show you don't do it like um you know like the the pharisees done it to show that you look miserable let me just read from verse 16 so matthew 6 verse 16 says 
And when you fast, don't do it. Don't make it obvious as the hypocrites do. For they try to look miserable and disheveled so people will admire them for their fasting. I tell you the truth, that is the only reward they will get. So here the Bible is saying that when you're fasting, right, you don't need to put on a show for other people to, to see and know that you are fasting, but you should do it um, unto God. You fast unto God and that will be a better reward than a war, you know, than a reward when you're trying to please people, right? So make sure when you fast, you're doing it unto God and not for people. So that's what the Bible says. So yeah, you know, there's a specific way to fast. And when you fast unto God, you do it in private. It just depends on, um, you know, making sure that it's a personal encounter and um, when you're fasting, basically. So that goes to tip number, oh yes, just before I jump to, that, to the next tip, um, that just remind me, I, I can't remember the exact scriptures, but there was a time, I think in the New Testament, was it New Testament? Um, the, the Pharisees, I believe they were asking, why don't the, why don't the, the, the disciples fast and in that time Jesus was there so it's somewhere in the New Testament I can't remember what scripture right now but yeah the, you know Jesus was saying that look I am there so that's why they don't fast but when I go away then it is needed for them to fast so it applies to us today while Jesus is away preparing um the kingdom of you know his kingdom for us that's the nest that's the time this is the time now that we as believers need to fast because when you fast you are spiritually strengthened literally you are spiritually strengthened and grounded and rooted into god right so as jesus is away right now we as believers need to fast so you notice what the scripture says when you fast so it's it's a when thing when you fast it's not if you want to fast um, or if it's not an option really um, but Jesus is saying that look whenever you fast whenever you decide to fast right do this so it is is as if it's expected of us to fast as believers and you know we talked about the scripture earlier on um, in Matthew right that talks about that that kind of spirit comes out only with prayer and fasting so you can see that fasting has, it's an essential part um, of a believer's life. It's necessary. Um, and that's what's going to help build you up along with the other spiritual disciplines out there. All right. So the next step in spicing up your fasting life is by doing either, a, either do a individual fast or a group fast. So in regards to the individual fast, it just depends on you. You will, for example, decide on your own that, okay, this is the reason I'll be fasting. Um, I'll be fasting every Monday um, between a set time. So even when you're fasting, you can set the hours. It doesn't have to be a 6 a.m. to a 6 p.m. It can be a four-hour thing, a two-hour thing. Anytime that you can spare to spend time with God, that is all up to you. So it's, that's why it's an individual fast. So you, you will have a personal encounter with God um, by setting, you know, setting, as I said, setting schedule, setting a location, um, a time and a place for fasting individually. While, for example, the group fast will definitely help as well because my ministry, Women of Mighty Valor Ministry, has a weekly group fast where we pray and fast um, once a week. Um, via via Google Meets virtually. So if you'd like to join our weekly retreat, then please email me at womenofmightyvalorministry at gmail.com and I will send you the information every time that we fast as well. So having a group fast is very encouraging because you not just fellowship with each other virtually, but you would praise and worship God together. I know the scripture says that where two and three are gathered together, God is there. God is in the midst. And 
it's so encouraging that to have a group fast as well because other people you don't able you not just pray for yourself but you pray for other people and they pray for you and you're just all just strengthened by that um you know you're strengthened by that and encouraged by that as well and you know the be the best thing I can say with the group fast as well that after we praise and worship God after we pray together there's always a word from God that will definitely encourage you and uplift you. Um, and then, you know, we always catch up at the end of the retreat. How was your week? How was your weekend? And if, you know, for example, one of the ladies need advice, we will just give advice. And yeah, it's a really good time, I would say. Very good time. All right. So the next tip in spicing up your fasting life is by making fasting a habit. Yep making it turning it into a habit what do i mean by that you deciding you know you deciding that i'm gonna make i'm gonna incorporate fasting into my life and i'm gonna do it once a week once a week i'm gonna dedicate a time to god so you planning ahead you scheduling that fast for that week um with god and setting a commitment on how long you intend to fast for i think that will definitely help build you up spiritually because in the past i'm not gonna lie in the past and um, before the ministry was birth i used to only go on fasting when there was when i was in deep trouble and i look back at i look back at it now and i'm like man that wasn't really a good you know thing to do but that's what i was doing then and now since I've committed to fast once a week and, you know, having the group as well, uh, you know, the ministry on, you know, helping me alongside um, definitely encourage me to stay consistent in the fasting. Because when you're fasting individually, sometimes it can be a struggle to maintain that habit. But if you have a group alongside, you are you're more likely to, um, you know, be more disciplined with that decision. So making fasting a habit will definitely help in your spiritual life all right so the next tip in spicing up your fasting life is by setting reminders about fasting you know for example why you should fast um quoting scriptures on regards to, in, in regards to fasting and you know placing talking about your personal reasons why you're fasting as well so making a list of the reason why you'll be fasting um will definitely help so that could be in your notebook that could be um placing sticky notes around or using flashcards whichever you know route that you'd like but it's just you setting a reminder why it's needed to fast and what you, what are you believing God for during your fast as well? All right. So the next tip I would say in spicing up your fasting life is by looking specifically. So analyzing scriptures um, in regards to fasting. So it's kind of similar to the previous tips, but basically you are focusing in and analyzing scriptures about what Jesus says about fasting how exactly are we supposed to be fasting so you're analyzing scriptures and that can be mostly found um i believe in matthew but it's mostly in the new testament so just focus more in on um fasting scriptures scriptures that talks about fasting what does jesus say about fasting and then that will give you a bit more understanding on what is expect of you in regards to that fast right and that you know that moves to the next point is you doing a bible plan on fasting so if for example you don't really know where to start um in regards to fasting in terms of scriptures you can easily get a bible plan on fasting using the U version bible app and literally when you type in the search box once you've downloaded the app type in the search box um, fasting there is loads of plans on fasting and then the the bible plan will help you give you a bit more understanding on the fasting and also link you to the scriptures specifically to fasting so that's why it's really important to have a bible plan have a guide um and that will help you as well so that moves to the next point i think the i have two more i have two bonuses two bonus um points 
So the first bonus I would say is by listening to a podcast talking about fasting. And good news, guys, Women of Mighty Valor podcast has an episode about that episode. So it's episode season, sorry, it's season one, episode 17, and it's titled Why Do Christians Need to Fast? Um, and that talks all about fasting, all about the necessary things that you need to know about fasting in a lot more details about what I'm talking about. So if you want to find out more about fasting, please listen to that episode, season one, episode 17. There's also another fasting um, podcast as well. It's called Fasting Reset podcast and it talks about fasting in general but the episode that I would like you to listen to in regards to that podcast is episode 16 with Dr. John McLeod on the subject of spiritual fasting so that's another fasting podcast that you can listen to as well that talks more on the spiritual aspect on fasting so yeah, and then the final tip that I have done um, in the past, I think I'm going to introduce it back again, is by having a specific notebook. Um, so whenever you go on a fast, you will have that notebook um, on fa for, fa for fasting, right? So whatever lesson that God has taught you in your fast, you'll write it down. And I think Every lesson that you've learned, you can go back and review it in that book, remembering that this is what you've learned on fasting. So yeah, those are the bonus, you know, that those are the two bonus tips that I have in regards to spicing up your fasting life. And I really hope that, you know, you've learned something, why it's needed for believers to fast, because not a lot of Christians um, like to, you know, set down a sacrifice in regards to fast. A fasting is sacrifice, so but a lot of people tend to run away or shy away from fasting because it's you depriving yourself from something to spend time with God. But it is necessary. Jesus talks about it. He was the one that promotes it. Talk about fasting that that kind of spirit can only come out with prior and fasting, not just prior, but fasting as well. So yeah, fasting can give you a breakthrough in regards to whatever situation you're in, especially if you're in a difficult situation, um, an impossible situation, and you really want God to move on your behalf, going on a fast will definitely, definitely help you. So yeah. I really hope that you enjoy um, either you're watching on my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Or if you're listening to this podcast, thank you for listening. And I'll see you guys next week, if God's willing. Thank you for listening again. I can't believe it. It's, sorry. Thank you for listening to this Spice Up series. This is the final, final um, Spice Up series. But look out for more series to come like look out especially on women of mighty valor podcast you have to look out on women of mighty valor podcast and um, we have a trailer out now and we'll be talking about prior so if you want to find out more or listening more on prior how you should pray to god then you have to check out the series the prior principle series starting the first of april so yeah you can't afford to miss it so you know the podcast is available on every um you know every podcast um, platform that you know especially for apple spotify and google Podcasts as well so if you want to join and listen to that prior principle series and you know improve and enhance your prior life then listen in to those ep episodes when they come out all right so thank you again for joining thank you for joining and listening and you know watching again um, on the Spice Up series, as it has been a journey, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a journey doing this um, series. But I thought that you know these, you know these um, specific the spiritual disciplines was necessary to help improve your spiritual life. So I really hope that this Spice Up series has helped you in some way. You know, even a tiny bit. It doesn't matter if it has blessed one person's heart. 
you know, I know that I've done my work, you know, for God. And so, yeah, like hopefully by God's grace, there will be a resource coming out soon in regards to the Spice Up series. So you literally have a physical document, printable document in regards to that. But that's just in the making. Um, but yeah, you know, if you have missed out the previous series, go back and listen to the podcast or you can even watch on my previous videos in regards to the Spice Up series. And I'll see you guys next week, if God's willing. Bye.